Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying our door. Free to game, free game on Steam. Uh, and it looks interesting. I just did the tutorial. It's got one of the quickest tutorials I think I've ever seen in a game. So what are we doing? We've got cards, yes cards, and tactics, yes tactics. We've we've seen a lot of this these days, haven't we? Um, specifically from me, but there's a good there's a good reason from that. These games are you know always fun. I I never really get bored of good old tactics or uh, card based gameplay. You can certainly get burnt out, but this one seems really cool. Maybe a mix of hoplite with a bit of card play. Uh, you got your standard five energy per turn to, to to play some cards. The cards allow you to move and attack. And you can also upgrade your cards with teeth, which we earn by killing these weird looking creatures. I mean, I gotta say, some of the creepiest looking enemy designs, they basically are, are no design. They're just, they're just creepy eyes that follow your cursor. So let's go ahead and move close to this enemy over here. And then we're going to uh, do some, do some damage. We'll punt this guy. So let's move near this other enemy. Oh, move to this other enemy and then uh, hit them. Oh, we can't. Oh, whoops. You know what? Let's undo that. Oh, we just undid our whole turn. Okay. Let's let's try this again. We're gonna move over here, and um, we could do a charge. Oh, interesting. Yeah, let's do a charge. Why not? And then we'll kill, kill this enemy. Or we'll knock back this enemy and then kill this enemy. Except we can't because we can only use this attack north or south. So why don't we move north one and then use it on that enemy over there. Except we ran out of energy. There's a lot of stuff going on in this game. We didn't take any damage because we were just barely out of range of all of the enemies, which is really, really good. Hit an adjacent hex two times for three damage. Two times for, so we'd be doing uh, six damage then. Hit two hexes southeast or northwest for five damage. Hit two hexes northeast or southwest for five damage. Okay, so we have two lunge swords. Uh, we could maybe make use of both of those lunge swords, but we're gonna have to do a little bit of navigating first. So we're gonna move over here, and then we're gonna move south one, and then we should be able to make use of this. Wrong. Incorrect, actually. Incorrect. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Um, hit an adjacent hex two times for three damage. So you know what we could do is we could try and kill this enemy. Except no, we can't. We can't possibly kill that enemy. We should try and kill someone. Let's kill this dude. So we'll kill that dude. And then, um, this guy is getting some kind of extra effect. Hick hits hex is an expanding concentric, concentric circles for six damage. If any friendly units are within three hexes gains eight armor oof so we're gonna have to we have to kind of move out of the way we're we're in a little bit of danger here so why don't we move out of the way and then we'll we'll throw out some uh damage on this guy can we throw this for the draw one? Oh, i see this this happens for free okay could we we could move up here and then do a little bit of extra damage to this guy all right, that was, that was not a bad turn. Did we take some damage though? We didn't, we are about to take 10 damage if I'm not careful. I think so, I think they, they now no longer receive that extra armor. Okay, we're still, we're still in danger though. Um, if I could possibly kill this guy, that would be good. I think we can, hit t hex, two hexes north or south for five damage. Yeah, we can totally end this guy. So now we are taking no damage. If we could destroy this guy, that would be fantastic. Charge uh, in any direction into an enemy, dealing three damage for every hex you move. Okay, so why don't we... Yeah, let's, let's kill this guy. Maybe we could do some damage before we do that though. Because that's going to take two energy. We could do other things first. Hit two hexes, um, poke poke. Hit an adjacent hex two times for three damage. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll go ahead and hit them for another damage and we'll also knock them back. And then we'll go ahead and do a charge and kill this guy. Nice. We're out of energy. We can't really do anything else. That's fine. 
We should be able to end um, this pretty soon. Poke, poke, poke. We'll kill this guy. Uh, hit an adjacent hex for two damage and knock them back. Perfect. And we'll end our turn. And we should be able to finish this. We're going to have to move first, though. Move four hexes northeast or southwest. Interesting. Okay, we're going to have to move here, and then we can do some extra damage. There we go. Select a card to upgrade. I'm not sure what upgrading is going to do. I guess it'll tell me. Click on any number to upgrade it. Colors represent cost tiers. Upgrade a number. Oh, oh, I see. So we just upgrade the, the variables. So in, it, it, for, in this case, if we upgrade Clayless, uh, it will deal four damage for every hex you moved. This would cost 40 teeth. Um, okay. I do like that card. Yeah, let's do that. So we have 16 teeth left. Maybe we can upgrade one of our movements. Blue cost, maybe we can upgrade one with uh, green text and that would cost less. We can upgrade this one. And we have, we don't have enough to upgrade anything else. Okay, that, that'll have to do. So um, we're not gonna take any damage yet, but we have, we, we are somewhat in danger. Our attacks are pretty specific. Hit an adjacent hex for two damage. Yeah, okay, so I was thinking, I was looking at this as a tar potential target, but that's not gonna do it. Two damage, so we could come over here and kill this guy. Let's do that. We'll come over here and we'll kill this guy. It's a good starting turn. We'll also move over here. So uh, it takes a, a turn for all of them to move over. Someone is buffing everyone. Hits hexes. If any friendly units are within three, this guy gets armor, but he's not giving armor. Gives all other friendly units three armor. We have to destroy this person right now. <laughs> Moves five hexes north or south. So that's not helpful right now. North or south. Northeast or southwest. All of our moves are like not good. Actually, let's undo that. We I just noticed we have Clayless. Yeah, we can end this thing now. Amazing. Let's move close to this thing so we can possibly do some damage. Nice. And we're taking no damage. Nice. S some really gruesome sound effects in this game. Um, Clayless would be good. Except I don't really see a way for us to do it. Move straight in any direction, two hexes. Move five hexes north or south. We can knock this uh, this guy away and then Clayless him. There we go, that's a nice move. And then we can finish them off. We're, we're gonna be taking five damage, so I need to get out of the way here. Perfect. Up slants thrust, hit two hexes northeast or southwest. Vertical thrust hit two hexes. Uh, if we could somehow get both of these guys in that, that would be nice. Hit two hexes southeast or northwest for five damage. Well, well, we'll throw that out to start with. I might actually be able to catch... Oh, we have Clayless again. Well, we can use this lunge. Can we... We could kill this guy? Yes. And we're taking no damage. Amazing. This is a really cool little game. It's got fairly simple mechanics, but man, has it got depth. And and this game is free. That blows my mind. I could I would easily, easily would have paid at least five or ten dollars for this. Flexible dash, move straight in any direction, hit an adjacent hex for two damage. Oh, we, we've got Clayless. Um, can we hit something away? Yes, punt. Perfect, and then we'll claylist them. Nice. Oh, that's so good. Okay, I think this is a, a good a place as any to end our turn. If we can get claylist again, that would be obviously fantastic. 
So what we'll do is we'll move up and then down because that's how our movement is restricted right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and pass the rest of our turn so that we have get something a bit better, like for instance, Clayless. So again, because our movement is restricted, we're gonna move south and then up. And then I have the perfect line to do a Clayless attack against that guy. Basically, we're gonna wanna do much the same again. I don't know, I, I think there's no reason to move right now. Do we have Clayless? We don't. Honestly, there's no reason not to wait for Clayless. I guess we could like try and get in and uh, you know kill them before we get Clayless, but that, there's a little bit of a risk there maybe. I don't know, we can always undo our turn if it doesn't work out. There we go, easy, easy enough. All right. We could upgrade Clayless again. 40. Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not upgrade it again? Let's just double down on exactly one card. Only one good card. So what is this? It hits all hexes further than two for six damage. Let's get rid of that guy. Gives all other friendly units three armor. So there's four of those dudes. That means they're going to make this guy really difficult to kill. Okay, let's let's do some damage to this guy. I did not mean to do that. So let's undo that. And then we'll punt them. I'm about to take six damage. So I'm gonna wanna move into a nice sweet spot. Look at all the armor. Oh my god. So we do have Clayless. The problem is I'm not sure if it's actually gonna be very helpful this time. <laughs> do we have punt? We don't have punt. Hit two hexes, north or south. I keep ending up in a situation in which these cards are not very helpful. Okay, that was, that was not it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's a good move here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go bide my time a little bit. See, let's see what we can do here. I actually am very limited uh, with our attack. We may take our first damage here. I'll try, I'll try it one more time to make this not end up in a, as an attack. Uh, it's a shame that uh, Clayless takes two to energy, but I think I can get away with this. Yeah, I'm gonna take no damage now. Amazing. And I, uh, I'm perfectly set up for Clayless. That's if we get a Clayless, of course. So these armor buffing dudes are a real pain in the butt, aren't they? I'm very limited at the moment. Okay, we do have a punt in Clayless. Might actually be able to kill something. No, actually no. Wow. I think I, I think I kind of ruined this. This guy's gonna have one health left and I can't, I can't finish him off and I'm gonna take 10 damage. Oh my God. Okay, well, you know what? What we do here is we just don't, we don't do it, right? We bide our time until we are in a better position, I think. Okay, I think what we want to do is move here and then knock this guy over. We'll take no damage now. We need to kill these guys. They are actually a problem. North, east, or southwest, that means nowhere. I cannot actually move anywhere. Jeez. Okay, here we go. I don't have enough for Clayless. All right, well, at least we're not taking damage. I think that that is the correct prioritization. Go ahead and knock this guy away. Can we, we don't have anything that helps us draw cards. There's gonna be a, a few ways to play this one, isn't there? Southeast or Northwest. Again, we can't do anything with that. Okay, let's try this again. 
I appreciate it, even though, or sorry, even though you draw cards when you uh, you play cards and, and it kind of spoils the mystery, that this game just like, yeah, you can go ahead and undo. Don't worry. Like the game, the game is tricky. Uh, we're, we're not gonna, we're not gonna punish you. And I appreciate that. It's, uh, I've had, I've, yeah, it, it can be a bit much, you know. We actually have enough to do a blasting wand clayless combo. If we could kill this guy, it would be a hundred percent worth it. But as it happens, that would do 10 damage to me because this guy does a lot of damage. Hits adjacent hexes for four damage. Hit this guy, hit him. We can move over and then lunge sort of, yes. Another enemy down. Ooh, could we clay list this guy? Oh, we don't have enough energy, Ah! If I could clay list that guy and kill him in one shot, yeah. That was so good. I'm honestly just gonna wait for clay list. Yeah. We can take this guy out the old fashioned way. Move away and then poke knife. So do we recover any health, I wonder? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna improve Clayless again. That would be ridiculous. I wouldn't mind upgrading uh poking knife though. Or oh we could upgrade punt. But that costs 40. I bet there I think there are better ways of doing it. Two times for three damage. So we could turn this into four damage twice. Or three damage three times. I think three damage three times is better. <laughs> or five damage. We could make the six damage. Upgrade uh, a couple of these. Make our, our, our more basic attacks a bit more beefy. Move up to four hexes out towards the nearest hostile. So I think we did recover a little bit of health. So we're not taking any damage yet. We could actually... Can we attack? No, we can't attack from there. We come here, maybe we can attack something. Actually, no. Uh, I don't think there's a good move here, if I'm being honest. I don't know, we could try, We could see what we get from drawing cards. Uh, actually, that was worth it, and then we can, we can bail. Oh god, armor. The armor is so brutal. Um, you know what, let's move and then Clayless kill this guy. Perfect. Okay, I mean, I don't think there's much else we can do here at the moment, anyway. We are surrounded, unfortunately. We can uh, poking bla wand blast this guy away. It's actually, I don't think it's gonna help much. Yeah, that, that, that was sensible. We'll do a little bit of damage. I don't think we really got anything out of that because they, they're just gonna armor up again. So we could, oh, we can uh, blasting wand this guy and then clayless him. Perfect. And, well, we can't really do any more damage to anyone else, but I'm gonna move close to this guy so I can maybe uh, end him on my next turn. Can't really do much right now. Feel like it might be better just to like, kill something I know I can kill. We only have two energy left, so I don't have enough to like, go in and attack this guy and then bail out. So I'll just move here and position myself here so that maybe I can hit that armor dude on the next turn. Yeah, this is really not it right now. Let's see if we can't draw a card that would be more helpful. Okay, this is, yeah, this is what we do. And then we can actually do some damage to this guy. In fact, we can kill him, perfect. Ah, uh, yes, can we kill them? Actually, yes, perfect. I'm gonna call it here, but honestly, I, I like I don't know when or if this game ends, but I'm really enjoying it. I think that this is fantastic. There's endless mode, randomly placed enemies, minimally play tested, questionably balanced. Oh, I see. So what we're playing right now is not generated. I actually kind of thought it was. Um, so you're you're actually it, this this is almost more like a puzzle game than it is a roguelike completely was this whole time was playing it much like it was a, a roguelike or roguelite um but no in fact it is more like a kind of i would I'd like to say just like rpg tactics game but it's not really it's it, it's a little bit of a interesting blend of different 
genres without really committing to any one of them. And that's interesting. I think this ends up being a really cool game with all the fact that this is free really does blow my mind. I, I honestly want to see if maybe the dev has a site I could like chip five bucks at them or something. I don't know. But in any case, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Thanks for watching.